With the Senate back in session, Republican leader Mitch McConnell is calling for action on TikTok. Today, 170 million Americans are active users of a social media platform that the People's Republic of China treats as a tool of surveillance and of propaganda. This is a matter that deserves Congress urgent attention. Joining us right now is John McKenty. He is the former director of the White House Presidential Personnel Office during the Trump administration. He's a senior fellow at the Heritage Foundation's Project 2025. And he is the co-founder, if you know him from TikTok, of The Right Stuff, a dating app for conservatives that has more than 2 million followers on TikTok. So who better to talk to about this and so many other things? John, it's nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so you are a TikTok star. How worried are you about the national security issues so around I, TikTok. So I, like Mitch said, 170 million Americans. We love TikTok. Obviously, right. it's fun. My sister and I share videos. We laugh till we cry. It's been great <laughs> for our business, right? We've gone from zero to two million. And really one. on the back of TikTok. More than really more than anything, because TikTok let, lets a person without any following go viral. It's very rare now. You know, you can't do that on YouTube and older platforms. So right. people are discovering our app through TikTok that would have found it no other way. That's not why I'm against the bill. I'm against the bill because it's new censorship power for the government. Interesting. But and you, uh, what about the national security concern? Do you have one? OK, so the only two things they say are Chinese propaganda, which no one has ever seen. There's been no instance of that or American user data. But American user data, it's all stored in America with Oracle, an American company. So are they scared of it somehow getting to China? Well, why don't we ban the sale of American data to China? Well, American what, companies what about do that. the idea that it, this might be prospective, which is to say maybe today it is not, not a national security threat insofar as data is being misused today, but potentially if the Chinese government were to want to use it, uh, that's why I say prospectively, in the future uh, for some kind of, uh, nat to create a national security threat, or, and some people use as an example just the power of it, uh, you know, when TikTok went and, and posted a, a full screen the, the day that they were worried that they were going to be banned, they put up a full screen and all these people started calling their, their Congress people. By the way, I think they have every right to do that. We have free speech in America exactly to do that. Right. Having said that, there's some people who say, look at the power of this thing. If, if these guys wanted to flip a switch, boy, could they influence America. It is incredibly powerful and that's why they want to ban it. It's news and a narrative they can't control. It has nothing to do with China. The Chinese government doesn't own TikTok. ByteDance does. China. That's not even a Chinese but, company. That's a global but, company. Senator Ted Cruz was in, and he said that he has big concerns about it because uh, the algorithm is different and puts things out there. He went through cases of Uyghurs not being mentioned as nearly as frequently on other social networks. Went through issue after issue where there are very much pushed on TikTok and not on other social media apps. And his concern is that. And I will also say, anybody who has access to the highest level of, of uh, defense issues and concerns around this has come away and said this. And that's Republicans and Democrats alike. I don't have access to that. I know you were in the White House, but you probably didn't have the highest level security either. Those senators who do walk away and all say the same thing. And you don't see both sides of the aisle agree on much of anything these days. The TikTok algorithm feeds you things off of your own interests. It doesn't promote anything. It doesn't put out its own content. Creators create things, they share videos, hard stop. It's, it's a younger audience, which is why boomers have a hard time understanding this. Like, okay, why I'm isn't not there- a boomer, first no, of all. No, Ted but... Cruz might be. Why, <laughs> why, 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 is it, why is there less pro-Israel content? Well, the younger generation is less pro-Israel. That might be good or bad or whatever, but it's just feeding American public opinion. No one's actually like promoting or censoring Uyghur content. Like, no, it's just not a top of mind issue for most Americans. That's why you don't see it. You can Google or search. But why search. is it so different from other social media apps? Because I thought they were doing the same thing. It's, it's not, not that, that different. It, that, that's what Ted Cruz said. I don't have All the of these studies are based on hashtags. They say, oh, it's TikTok promotes suicide because the hashtag I'm done. Yes, Ted Cruz could be wrong. The hashtag I'm done is a, you know, a suicide right. hashtag. It's like, I say that every day. You know, these studies are all crazy. They're ridiculous. It has nothing to do. It's not controlled by China. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you a different it's question. It's like gaslighting. Uh, Truth Social. Yeah. What do you think? You, inv you investing in Truth Social? By investing in it? Well, you, I don't really you invest, invest, but... 
Yeah, I mean, I like it. I think it's a great platform. Obviously, everyone is there to see what Donald Trump says, and it's right. exciting. And in do, an do election you use year, it? I mean, I think one of the things we should know, for, the, for those who don't follow this, you have a dating app. That's your business. And we do have a Truth Social account, yes. And you have a Truth but, Social account because the business is... Uh, putting conservative, I don't uh, conservatives, Republicans. I don't know what you uh, what you describe the the group Both, as. Yeah. Together, that's what it is. So I would assume Truth Social would be a big part of that. Actually, Truth Social has an older demographic, and that's okay. why we use TikTok because we're targeting a younger demographic, a dating app. We want to keep it cool and young and light. We're actually targeting a new conservative, which is a cultural conservative, someone that might not understand economic policy. They might not follow Twitter or Fox News. But they know culturally things are weird in the country, like they're being told men can get pregnant. That's why our videos resonate, because we're calling out just how crazy things are. Um, do you, so, so Truth Social as a, as a investment, not for you? Well, I don't really invest like that, but sure, right. I would if, if I did. did. No, I'm saying, like, you look at the valuation of it. You, you run a business, the, the company is bringing in $4 million in revenue. Do you say to yourself, this four billion dollar uh, I really have no idea I think like the upside is that it's an election year you have Donald Trump the most iconic man in the world exclusively on one platform what's the value out on that I don't know you know it's probably pretty high um, the other thing I wanted to ask you uh, just actually about sort of the future of, of the country but also maybe even your own uh, experience there were a lot of uh, very talented people who went into the Trump administration the, the last time uh, some of whom then left. I'm curious what you think, if in fact he wins again, and the polls would suggest he, he, he will if, mm -hmm. if the election were uh, today, what, what kind of people you think he's going to be able to surround himself with? I think he'll get the best people. I think we have junior people in the first part of the administration, the first term, that can now occupy more senior roles. We know who they are. And Project 2025 at Heritage has been doing local and national news, gotten a ton of attention, and got a lot of resumes and good people already, and that's going to grow throughout the year, especially when he wins in November. We're going to get inundated. We're going to teach them how to be effective political appointees, and then we can hit the ground running in January What do you think of his take uh, on TikTok? We talked to him about it when he called into the broadcast a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, and, TikTok... And he was sort of uh, not, not taking a real position. Well, he's 100% correct. Even though, he, that even though he had a position when he was the president. He's 100% correct that this enables... Google and Facebook to dominate, right? That's who's been, that's who started this narrative. 2019, Mark Zuckerberg said he was getting a ton of heat. He said, oh, actually, you should all be worried about TikTok, you know, China, and then all the Republicans, you know, they fell for it. Right. Okay. The Trump administration makes, made some demands and then TikTok exceeded them, right? Mm -hmm. There's a third party oversight over the algorithm. All the data is stored with Oracle. What else do you want? Do you want to stop American data going to China? Make a law that that's illegal. That's it. You know, you don't need this new power to censor Americans.